Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're having just a little difficulty with inputting the list, um, but that should just be a moment here. Wanted to make sure that we got uh, this deployment for you here. We have Adam uh, Kempers uh, from Indy. 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 <laughs> uh, and he is setting up a triple upsilon list uh, that includes dormants. So he's taking a moment here uh, to exactly figure out where he wants to do this kind of dormants deploying. Yeah, so this is hyperspace round two. So we get some funky lists sometimes in hyperspace. Um, this multiple upsilon list seem to be very popular. Uh, running, you can't, you can't see it quite yet, but Kylo is actually already deployed down here. These guys are using hyperspace tracking to deploy. Let's read that card. <clears throat> uh, set up before placing forces, you choose the number between one, zero and six. These uh, have elected to six. Treat your initiative as the chosen value during setup. Uh, after setup, assign one focus or or evade token to each friendly ship at range zero to two. So that's what he's done. He's shown he's uh, chosen six with all three of his upsilons. He's put dormants down first, so he can deploy the other upsilons at range two of dormants. All right, once you. Uh... Uh, we did have a po list lined up for this stream. Uh we could not get both players to agree to be on stream, so we switched it at the last minute to this list. Uh, this is what uh, I was putting in his name here. This is what Rhett is flying. You're trying to read your own writing? No, he wrote it. Oh. <laughs> Luff in Burger. Oh, I assume that's a G. That makes sense. more sense. And he is from, uh, looks like Pittsburgh. Yep. I see the Steel City Squadron shirt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep, so then I'm going to just get rid of this right now because there's nothing... Well, he's not flying that yet. That was from our last game. Yeah, we're still working on these lists. Not quite sure what exactly we're going to do for that. There, hmm. Maybe, hmm. I'm going to try it one more time. Maybe we should just refresh. Is this still going to be all? I mean, we're not getting anything out of it right now anyway. That's true. I'm going to take a risky refresh here. See if it likes it. Okay. Let's try to put just one star killer base in there. Uh, so we see this fancy deployment. Um, basically, you know, you can get into range three on the first turn by deploying this way, uh, and you're kind of all tokened up. So that's what we see Adam taking advantage of right now. Yeah, we're not able to get the list in. Our software, for some reason, is not liking the Upsilon shuttles. So we're not able to get the list to display correctly. We're going to work on that through the first couple rounds. And we'll try to call out the action as it's progressing as well. <clears throat> uh, just to let you all know, on the other side of the table, Rhett is flying... Lieutenant Tavson in the Upsilon with Pattern Analyzer, uh, accompanied by Kylo Ren with Supernatural Reflexes, Prime thrust Thrusters, Proton Torpedoes, and Hull Upgrade for a 118-point Kylo Ren. And so we have some First Order on First Order uh, fighting here. And we'll see if these Upsilons are able to put out enough firepower to take out Kylo and the opposing Upsilon.
Well, we're going to do a backup strategy, I guess. Is that Twitch? Let us know. Should we put in not their ships that have the correct hull values? What do you think, Johnny? Uh, or kind of don't want to display the wrong ship. Maybe Me just neither. Don't display it, but put something in, but hide the list so we can keep track of points at least. Does that work? Uh, put what in? Put some other ships in, but not display them on the screen so that we can at least keep track of points. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, well, I'll work on that. What, uh, keep going, keep going with the action here. I see the Upsilons are moving in pretty Upsilons aggressively. Upsilons are definitely moving in. Kylo wants nothing to do with that. <laughs> no. So he's kind of, uh, moving towards, uh, towards the near side of the camera. Um, we'll see Lieutenant Tavson maybe in a bad spot. I'm not sure how that will play out. Uh, these Upsilons can take a lot of hits, though, so might be okay. Of course, everybody says the strategy for Upsilons is get behind them. You always hear that, get, just get behind them, just get behind them. Uh, we'll see if Kylo can do just that. Uh, in practicing for this game... Uh, some of the Gold Squadron players were saying, um, you know, even like a generic or, you know, sort of a lightweight TIE fighter getting behind these Upsilons can do a lot of work. So oh, okay, well, uh, this is the best I got here. So this one that's 64 is uh, Tabson. Where did that just go? Right. Opening shots already. Look out. Yeah, with the, the, with the setup of uh, the hyperspace tracking um, and Upsilons, uh, you get in, you really want engagement on the first first round. Uh, so here we see hit, hit, crit, crit coming from one of those Upsilons. Uh, keeping track of the reinforced token there. So... Rhett's Upsilon has taken two already. I see two arrows there, uh, so it takes two more. Uh, only one more because of the reinforce. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so that does it for the first round. Damage already on the board. We're getting the uh, displays all sorted out at the moment. All right. Well, this is uh, this is the best I think we can do. So we have uh, Tavison up on top here. Uh, so at least this is the this will hopefully be at least for this round. Uh, it doesn't sound like we'll be putting upsilons on the board May so the rest of the year. You had an no. issue with the other list as well. Yeah, because it also has an Upsilon. Son of a gun. Yeah, well, uh, I chose wrong, apparently. I didn't realize that was going to be an issue, but too late now. The, uh, But we have the correct hull values now. We have Tavinson, Starkiller Base, and Dormitz here. Uh, representing each of those Upsilons. So at least we'll, we'll be able to provide something. You can change the initiative values, too. How do I... Oh, initiative... So Starkiller base is one, I assume. Dormitz is two, and Tavison is two. Is that right? Double check that for me. I'm on it. While I try to find out what is going on over here. Apologize, guys. Did not realize that we would have this air. But not to worry. Okay, so Tavson's a three. Starkiller base pilot is a two. Dormitz is a two. Okay. So that looks all correct there. I'm going to strike out the upgrades. <laughs> I made them to be the appropriate cost. Uh, well, we have 64, 64. 
what did I do? So I imagine Adam here is just going to keep on this Upsilon, uh, just keep on Ret and try to keep pushing damage through, um, mm -hmm. maybe take it out early. I think you probably see Kylo maybe turning in here to take some flanking shots on Adam's Upsilon, but Kylo is going to want to be very careful as usual because he's worth so many points. We do see Kylo angling in. Of course, he's moving last here, so he has good information. And measuring for uh, what I believe is target lock. A little bit of a bump there. They're going to adjust that. And Kylo shooting on the Upsilon. C4 paints, flipping two force tokens. That's going to be four hits, looks like, or we'll see here. Oh, a hit and three crits versus one evade. So that Upsilon taking three damage. Oh, oh, I see. Thank you, actually. No, it. Now, Rhett's Upsilon range one, five dice attack. <laughs> two hits versus an eyeball. So that Upsilon takes two more to shields. Now we have the return fire, five dice. Rerolling here, spending a focus for three hits and a crit. Disposing of the spent target lock. And that Upsilon is uh, lost all its shields at this point. So taking heavy fire early on. Uh, still kicking, but in a tough spot here, facing down the firepower of these three shuttles. Keeping track of all the tokens and decisions here. Another range one attack. Hit crit against an evade. So that'll get a crit through fuel leak. Working on getting some numbers uh, here. I'm trying to grab, uh, trying to grab, so basically to get this to work, I'm going to have to just, uh, I'm working to uh, grab, basically to split the, uh, uh, and it's not working. I am struggling over here, but I got the Kylo Ren on there. 
There you go. Which it seems like it's going to quickly See, come down to Kylo Ren. You can get every other ship besides the Upsilon? Yes. Uh, no, I can't get a Zeta Squadron SF either. For some reason, that doesn't load in. You see? That's what I had in that list, and it's not there. Wow. Weird. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll let uh, Rathos put know. A, put, another, you know, put another silencer? I don't know. No, I got a... Uh... Maybe this will work. I'm basically going to split that Upsilon in half. Sure. Because it's already half dead. Correct. We just said it's all all its shields were down. So that's right, and it has a fuel leak crit. There we go. So this one that is at least you guys can see something here. All right, cleaning up the tokens. All right, so Tavison one, dead. And we have players setting their dials. So both players standing right now, opposite sides of the table. Uh, staring down at their dials. We see Adam is setting his pretty quickly, kind of knows what line he's going to take. I'm struggling with this name thing. Do you think that could be the problem, that the keyboard was like... That touching something? Stop touching something? Is there something on that keyboard? Does this keyboard work? Should be. Unplug this keyboard. Whatever this is plugged into, unplug the. Ignore that key. <laughs> that was not the keyboard. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, and it goes over there. Now we have Rhett thinking over maneuvers here okay well at least we're uh, so at least we're oh thank you that would be great so at least we got something there there you go I got something here uh, Tavison's shields are down but it's his hole is at two damage here two damage there um, which is the, so at least currently our points are correct. It is correct that Adam Kempers now has scored 34 points for taking half of, uh, Tabson. Yes. So that's the best we could do. Ignore the upgrades because I, uh, the ones I crossed out anyways, those don't exist. Those aren't things. All right. So now we have. Adam kind of turning in, maybe trying to catch T Kylo in a future turn. Yeah, and this is really what, this is really the puzzle uh, that Adam has to face because taking down an, one Upsilon with his three should be fairly easy. What isn't going to be easy is catching Kylo with yeah, three of his. Yeah, that's right. And Kylo has the tools. He's got two proton torpedoes. He's got supernatural reflexes. He has an extra hull, so he's at seven. <laughs> Yeah, you essentially want to cast as wide a net as possible uh, just to take away Kylo's options. But Kylo's got a lot of options. Um, I've been watching Dion fly his Kylo list, and you can move him 
basically anywhere. Uh, so trying to catch that Kylo within your arc with a relatively not non-maneuverable ship is really difficult. So here we see all ships kind of turning towards that near side of the board. Uh, Adam jumps out to an early lead, but Rhett will have a, a strong turn here, I think, if he... Yeah, because the... I do want to point out here, so the... This one. Don't be confused here. Uh, Rhett has these special... You can see it on Kylo, too. The special markers. Um, signifying which Upsilon it is or not. Makes sense. And Kylo's really got to avoid those four dice attacks. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Kylo barrel rolls here. And then we see the maneuver is a nice and easy, is that a one, one turn? One turn. I'm surprised Kylo didn't go a little, um, no, I guess that, that sort of makes sense. I was expecting maybe be a little bit further towards the center of the board, but that positioning actually is, is not bad. Uh, kind of, you know, reading the maneuver that uh, Adam put in and seeing where he's where it's the best spot to end up. Yeah, I do want to note here that uh, Rhett's Lieutenant Tavison does have pattern analyzer. So when he did that hard one, I believe it was, mm. uh, to get that angle, he was able to take a token. It looks like he took a focus there. Ooh, rolled some good hits there. Wow. So we'll see what crits we get. Is that a blinded pilot and a wounded pilot? Ooh, man. So that's on to, looks like... Uh, the initiative two, so that must be dormants. Is that right? Hard. To, I can't tell if it's no, dormants or, or no. the star killer base pilot. It must be star killer base then. So star killer base, uh, losing all its shields and taking two crits. Crits gonna be. Uh, what did we just say? Blinded pilot and wounded pilot. <clears throat> Blinded and wounded. Blinded. We'll let him modify. And Wounded will uh, stress him if he takes an action. Uh, we have Rhett here. Ro uh, Rhett didn't elect to roll in the box. He's going to roll on the table. Oh, Ooh. that's a lot of damage. Um, and he reinforced the back there to cancel one. And takes four other damage. And I believe... That's enough. Some, uh, simultaneous fire, though, from... Note Tavinson's initiative three. You just told me. So I believe that Starkiller base is off the board. Yep, not being able to shoot this turn Ooh. definitely hurts. Yes, that's right, because that, uh, it is Tavison who should be on the top left of the screen here with his wings straight up. Uh, he does not have advanced sensors. So we got target lock in to see uh, four hits. Four hits. Man, just the this is just a heavyweight <laughs> fight here. Every every roll. Oh <laughs> uh, well, this, well this is the challenge though is that uh, Rhett, Rhett is going to lose his upsilon pretty quickly. I'm actually pretty surprised that. Adam lost his first, but I don't think that one's going to survive then. Yeah, I mean, nope. it just took too much damage too early. And that's this list, you know, being able to fire fully modified in the first round of mm -hmm. movement is, you know, it, it puts the other player um, in a sort of downward position right from the get-go. Yeah, and he, he could not... I was expecting him to go pretty fast with his Kylo. Taking his Kylo from that corner, zipping down, getting right Trying in between. Trying to get him behind, him. sure. But he elected to stay in the corner. I think he smelled blood and, you know, was able to capitalize. So this is one last shot here from uh, Dormitz. 
Uh, still rolling three hits. Yeah, the, these got, these uh, Upsilons putting out firepower. Five dice must be range three obstructed, and he gets the three evades. Nice. Well, uh, there it is. So we got Kylo here. So full health Kylo. Uh, one, one proton torpedo down. Uh, again, so we still have Tavison up here in the top left. This is Tavison, that guy. Uh, and then the other one is Dormance here. This is Dormance. Dormance has advanced sensors still, which is, gonna, is going to allow him to stop where he is and still be able to take an action as, he, uh, as Adam kind of brings in the other Upsalam. Uh, the most interesting point about this is that the uh, um, there is a slight oh, I guess uh, oh yeah yep uh, the Adams Star Killer base pilot who went down uh, is 66 points. And the Tavinson for Rhett was worth 67. All right. Giving Adam a slight edge here. So, Rhett or, was or able... Excuse me, no. Uh, yeah, yeah giving, yeah, giving Adam a slight edge here. So, Rhett was able to set Kylo's dial pretty quickly. Where does he go with Kylo here? Because you don't want to put him into the teeth of these Upsilons. Uh, so, we, how is he? Would he be able to dance away, if at all? Bear roll out, uh, cut in, and then boost to correct your angle. But it, it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting puzzle. We did just learn that uh, prime thrusters does allow you to auto thrusters twice, because you can oh. say take an action for a red boost right. or to action red boost. Now you have a single stress and can take a red barrel roll with prime thrusters. How about that? <laughs> then you end up with two stress. Well. But in a pinch, <laughs> why not? Uh, being double stress versus being uh, eating 10 dice might uh, be the correct call. So a little boost there and possibly a 4K here? I think, I, I think that's what I'm reading is a K turn. Yeah. Oh, nope. nope, just a straight. Just leaving here for a moment. But you know what? That still works to Rhett's advantage. Um, he, you know, he didn't want to face down that list. He wants to face those upsilons on his terms, preferably from behind. Mm -hmm. And so being able to move out and uh, get a better reposition, I think, makes a lot of sense. We should try to check the time in this game because time may be oh. a factor if this goes, uh, ends up, if this Kylo ends up running away for a while. Uh, let's put a... Uh, oh, not that much time. Uh, I'm going to put 50 minutes on the clock. I'm not sure if that's correct, but... Um, about 25 minutes or so. Uh, I'll double check that in a moment here between rounds. Adam's actually keeping track of time for the entire round here, so. Ah, so that, they'll know the official. Yeah, yeah, they have the official time. I'll double check with them to make sure. Uh, yeah, that, that opening joust went about as I expected. Uh, Adam need, needed to take the other Upsilon off the board uh, yeah. without yeah. without losing... More than one. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. We saw a lot of a lot of paint getting rolled on both sides, mm -hmm. uh, so both players seeing some some good luck. Uh, you know, relatively balanced, but um, just a you know a big kind of heavyweight slug match so far. And now we see the upsilons taking their time, turning around. This is sort of where they have some weakness. No ability to reposition, no ability to <clears throat> do a K turn or anything of that sort. So it just takes multiple turns to get themselves reoriented. Uh, whereas Kylo has lots of options. 
So maybe we see a K-turn or uh, I could see a boost hard one left. Boost left, hard one left. Yeah, sure. That gets you mostly turned around. Uh, leaves some options open for you. I always like doing K-turns because uh, they're so fast that it, it sort of it gets you out of the fight and lets you uh, kind of see. Uh, it, it sort of lets you take multiple approaches because you're further away, but that's just me. Obviously, I'm not at any of these tables, but we do see the K-turn there. You called it right. Um, so Kylo might even still be able to get shot this turn. Yeah, he is stressed. He's just going to take that Prime Thrusters boost. Yeah, because why he's, not? He was down two Force Charges, so he's actually going to try to regain a little bit of Force here, um, which is why I think he originally needed to do that 4 forward to avoid combat. Uh, you yeah, really I have to uh, manage the resource of the Force tokens. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. Yeah, choosing when to be careful and when to be aggressive is, is one of the key skills uh, being for being successful at this game. All right, we see Kylo taking a, a shot from downtown. Thinking over if he wants to spend possibly a force charge. Not sure what I the probably, results are. I probably wouldn't recommend. I mean, you need to keep your forces, so... So yep. we see one hit and yeah. spends the, has, has spends the eyeball. So no harm, but um, Rhett in very good spot here. Uh, I'm not really sure what Adam can do. Probably tries to turn with the... Um, with Well, try, probably tries to turn with both of them to try to get them turned around. Yeah, actually, I don't like that positioning that Tamison is in right now with that rock and I don't know do you think it could hard left hard one left specifically there's a little bit of a gap there and it looks like Adam's eyeballing that right now I'm trying to find out what exactly maneuver is going to get him through that little debris field there yeah but I mean no matter what he does I think you know Kylo can still end up getting around, flanking you to the side, getting out of your arc. Uh, so it's going to be hard for Adam to get into a good position here. So another uh, another interesting thing here is that uh, from what I understand that uh, Adam's list was the one that was down on the table. Okay. And then... Pittsburgh could put the Kylo Tappinson uh, to pair with it. It's hard to put Kylo on the table because yeah. anybody with a six will just match up your yeah. Kylo versus six. Yeah, absolutely. So I assume that's what happened. Um, yeah, this was a decision that Dion was struggling with because you really want a Kylo with a deep, deep bid. And uh, Dion wasn't able to really build a list with as deep of a bid as he wanted. So he sort of had to start getting used to, well, what if I don't move last? Am I still able to get into the positions that I need and capitalize on that? Well, yeah, I mean, Kylo is still so maneuverable. You just need to, it's, it's the difference of reacting versus uh, just setting up good positioning. <laughs> sure. As long as you could just get that positioning anyways, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Taking a look, a couple, Adam is staring deep into those asteroids. Um, want, wanting to make sure that these maneuvers will work. With that Kylo right behind him, you almost have to split up the Upsilons here. Yeah, I, I think so, because... You know, if Kylo chases one of them, maybe you can catch him with the other, mm -hmm. uh, with your other arc. Um, it'll be tough. Yep. So we do see that one turn. Oh, it explodes immediately. Now, the other problem is that Tamison does not have uh, a way to take an action after doing a red move. Uh, so he's just going to have to be stuck there with his stress. Uh, you see a 
Adam uh, has been electing to, his standard action seems to be reinforcing rear here. Sure, yeah. I guess just trying to preserve damage if possible. Uh, it's a it's a good thought that that's most likely where if Kylo is shooting you, that's where he's going to be shooting at you from. But really, in this game, one one good shot from one of these upsilons onto Kylo yeah. could change. Because uh, you can score a whole upsilon's worth of points in one shot on Kylo. Yeah, absolutely. And so how do you fly lists like that? Lists like Kylo or Fenrau who hit so hard but don't have a lot of hull and shield to withstand a lot of damage. What's the strategy behind flying those lists? Uh, I think you, you have I think you have two options, uh, and, and uh, Rhett's here brings both of them. You have either a support ship uh, that can coordinate you actions sure. to, uh, to help you not get locked down, or you bring what I call uh, an aggro tank, uh, someone who's just trying to draw as much attention to them as possible right. and be able to absorb as much damage as possible as well. Uh, and that, and Tavison fills that role 100%. Okay. So that would be like why you see a lot of Fen Boba or like... Um, um, yeah, exactly. Bul Bulba's your tank and, and can draw aggro in that, letting your Fen Rao flank around to the rear. Right. <clears throat> All right. Shots from Kylo. We get one evade uh, plus a reinforce. So takes one, if my counting is correct. Uh, he appears to be... Yeah, I think he removed one. Oh, you know why? You know why he has to use his own shields? Because we didn't anticipate there being uh, <laughs> four Upsilons on the board. We didn't which bring enough, <laughs> enough giant <laughs> shield tokens for this uh, list. Anyway, so that was um, Tamison, so that would be Dormitz taking those one shield down. Uh, one on the die, one from Reinforce. And that's it. That's round over. So, uh, Adam is able to kind of split these uh, upslons up, but with Tavinson being stressed up there. Yeah, like what does he even do? I think he honestly just needs to two bank over that rock and just set up. The, uh, here, I can show you. I think he's almost stuck. I think if he goes this way, and then, so that'd be him here. And then he hard twos in this round. Uh, Kylo's already going to be zip, 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 yeah, zip, zip com in two rounds. Um, so I think you almost have to, you almost have to try to cut him off, go over the rock, and then cut in and be here looking this direction in the same two turns. Uh, we'll, we'll see if, uh, we'll see what his strategy is on it. I think... You kind of had to run, r run with the one Kylo is shooting, and then try to cut him off yeah. with the other one. Okay, so he takes the more the safer approach, just trying to get uh, behind Kylo, or at least where Kylo can't shoot him. Yeah, which so is... he does the bank there too, which I'm assuming clears the stress. Yeah. Yep. So just taking his time, understanding that perhaps the the other. Upsilon just needs to kite Kylo for a little while, while... He does have a nice open lane here for a nice fast maneuver. Sure. To, to try to disengage from Kylo, but this is the puzzle. Um, Rhett, Rhett is down a little bit in points, but he's he's not rolling a single defense dice. So, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's not being shot at anytime yeah. soon. Sure. As, as long as he could just hang out with these Upsilons... Devero, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Helps us out a lot. Yeah, what do you what do you think, uh, Chet? Uh, we got a uh, YouTube and Twitch stream in here. Uh, if you want, I uh, basically just need uh, Upsilons or Kylo. Who do you think can actually pull this off? Can the Upsilons get it done? Can they find Kylo and get two shots into him? 
Or can Kylo just dodge these all day? Let us know. Garchilla JR, thank you for the sub. Bat Nelson, thank you for the sub. Yeah. Everybody summoned today is eligible for those templates. The orange ones. We'll be doing giveaways all day. Oh, yeah. We got uh, we got four cards. You got Redline, Nora Wexley, the Cassian Andor, and Duchess uh, combo in the Transocean Slaver up for giveaways as well. Um, you don't have to be a uh, subscriber to get uh, or to be eligible to win the card, um, but it certainly does help. All right, so we have uh, the turnaround here. So it looks like instead of what I was saying, which was trying to engage over here, it looks like he's trying to, Adam's actually trying to engage somewhere over here instead. Sure. He's trying to drag this Kylo around here and then be able to shoot him in that kind of kill box. So we didn't call it out, but Kylo did bump the last turn. Yep, yep. there was no combat there. And so was that perhaps a, uh, a costly mistake or sort of missed opportunity? Um, Kylo not being able to get shots that round? Yeah, he had boosted there. Um, but it uh, looks like he's going to be using, so that was a K-turn. Uh, uh, dormant stopped. Use advanced sensors to take the focus. Kylo's going to use primed thrusters to be able to barrel roll after the K-turn to completely negate everything Adam tried to do yeah. that round. So you think Rhett uh, just read that the stop may be coming and yeah. planned for it? Yep. It was the, there's there's no other option that you should do there. If someone bumps into you, uh, try to get them to pass over you so you can shoot them behind them. And that Kylo, Kylo's on fire if he can get into range. All right, all four of those damage are going to go through uh, into the shields. Yep, and this should still be dormant. Yep. Leaves him with one shield, but his 70 points intact. All right, these rounds are moving pretty quick here with only three ships left on the field. Yeah, this guy low. Kylo can definitely do it, um, but he has to, it's that precision flying though. I keep saying one or one shot could uh, could take out half of Kylo's points yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. You, you have to be very careful. Uh, chat In the chat, I think this is rigged, is calling a too hard by Kylo. Seems like that'd be a logical maneuver. Oh yeah. Not just the too hard. But you get the supernatural barrel roll out too hard um, because because supernatural works with prime thrusters. All right, uh, he can still supernatural while stressed. It's pretty good. Yep, he might uh, actually with that placement he might need not need to now. Yeah, obviously he has the benefit of reading uh, the the placements. We do see that other Upsilon now turning in, becoming a potential threat. So maybe the barrel roll still makes sense to keep your distance from that other he, Upsilon. He still has the torpedo, but being wants to be a little conservative with them, I'm sure. You're going to need a consistent firepower all game, so. Sure. Let's see what, uh, see what he's doing. He was able to get his force back last time. And not a lot of paint, but we do see a reroll. Yep. So you spends the force for three there. Target lock and force. And three more damage. He reinforced the back, so two damage there. Being able to score those points on dormants. Yeah, so we see this is just textbook. Get behind the Upsilon and um, just take your uncontested shots. Yep. It, it's taken a bit, but... Tavinson is coming back around now. Finally, Adam might be able to line up a shot on this. And he, he's going to have so few opportunities to do it. Yeah, Kylo still probably wants to keep chasing uh, the, the now limping Upsilon. 
Um, so I'm sure I'm sure Adam is reading that and going to try to take advantage. So it looks like Sam M's contemplating here what exactly he can do with that. Because th this is the other problem. If you do stop here, so Kylo can't go past that line. A barrel backwards to bank. I think still gets him a shot. It would be very close. Yeah, no, I think that works. Yeah, because you kind of end up. You'd end up sort of, let's see, a barrel roll moves you. Back only a fourth, but mm -hmm. over two. Over two, and a two turn also moves you over two. Yeah. So you'd be in the same horizontal position as you currently are. But you'd be, you'd be one and three quarters forward, more or less. Right, okay. So you'd end up about <coughs> there. Oh, that's, when you, that's... That's when uh, precision of templates and moving, when you're counting quarter bases sure. because of the bear rolls. All right. Tamson wants that shot so badly. Oh, ready with the supernatural. Ooh, taking a boost okay. this way. Maybe a disengage here to, dr to try to prevent any shot on Kylo ever. It's not a bad option. Sure, and depending what he dialed in. And we do see that uh, kind of fast movement and arc dodging out of the way. So Kylo's just a uh, you know, doesn't want any piece of uh, this Upsilon's four dice. So playing it safe, getting away, has plenty of time. And will once again be able to probably get behind mm -hmm. an Upsilon and uh, just plink away damage. Yeah, Rhett, Rhett recognized that immediately. And was like, it's not worth it. Uh, not even, not even one good shot, because uh, a nasty crit or two through those shields uh, could, yeah, just immo immobilize that Kylo Ren. Yeah, so the points difference here is now thirty-two points. Yeah, so if Kylo runs the rest of the game. Rhett wins. I mean. He's He's got quite a bit of time. Um, it's certainly possible if if he does start to run, Adam's going to have to be a lot more. Uh, uh, what do I want to say? He's going to have to give a little bit more haste to his sure. dial setting because he's currently taking quite a bit of time without, unfortunately, much effort. Though he, I do like this positioning here because he's got. He's got this U-Wing kind of sweeping this way with its arcs, and then this U-Wing is going to sweep in this way with its arcs. Yeah, gives him options. Trying to get trying to get just as much arc coverage. Oh, I take that back. He, he did not do that. He's going to coordinate. Okay. Interesting. Maybe getting into a bit of a formation here. Um, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe Adam's thinking that he tried, he tried to split them up and that didn't, that didn't quite work. So just going to fall back to keeping them together. I mean, with the coordinating, uh, we haven't even really talked about Tavinson's ability, but, uh, Tavinson, if they, if he takes damage, he gets a free action. Uh, but he only has two charges for that. Right. So most of the time it's just one free action per round. But you could use that action to say coordinate. Sure. 
Yeah, so we see Kylo just making some space. He is now double target locked, it looks like. Mm -hmm. it's yep, they're just hoping for those shots now. Yeah. Have you gotten a chance to fly yourself or fly against much first order? Um, just a couple matches. No, no upsalons though. Yeah, they seem greatly improved in second edition. Yeah, so like I was saying, Gold Squadron completely missed uh, that multiple upsalons would be a relevant list in this tournament. Uh, we didn't consider it for our list building uh, we didn't really practice against it until we saw everyone's lists a week ago uh, but it seems like the just the level of firepower that they bring is really scary yeah especially if your ship is say uh, slow or doesn't have uh, repositioning actions those two upsilons uh, can come upon you right away sure. like you you can't get away from them and that could be 8 to 10 dice, uh, heavily modified. All right, now sort of splitting up again, covering both the top and the bottom of the board. The other of the new factions, Resistance, uh, seems to be uh, getting a lot of a lot of coverage, a lot of um, you know usage, uh, especially in this tournament. I've seen A wings everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. Resistance seems to have a lot of options for list building. A wings seem to be a great you know sort of uh, wingman or sort of filler ship. Uh, Poe can hit really hard. Um, I've seen. Uh, at this tournament, lists with Ray, a list with Chewy. Um, yeah, definitely seems to be a, a lot of resistance around, especially in these hyperspace rounds. Yeah, I think that they their benefit is that they don't really have a weak ship, in my opinion. Sure. Um, and, and a multitude of good pilots to, to fly them, so... Uh, very prevalent. Well, uh, we're going to be uh, seeing some resistance and first order flying in extended as well. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, which will be yeah interesting to see how uh, they how that compares. Because I think I think the two new factions handle hyperspace no problem. Definitely. Uh, but can they handle the real meta monsters of extended? And of course, we have a points adjustment coming in a couple of weeks, so 28th. they say. Mm -hmm. uh, so that should shake things up. I know uh, you and Dion have been talking a lot about which ships and or upgrades may see a points adjustment. Uh, so we may see those common meta archetypes or common meta lists get nerfed out of usefulness. Yeah, it'll be nice to start building extended lists again. But I think the... Okay. So you may hear our background noise. They just called 20 minutes left in the round. Yep, we'll put a, put a tentative timer up there. Yeah, this is still an interesting puzzle here. Uh, Adam, if he's if he has any chance to pull this off, is going to need to close in quick here. Start putting actions and templates down. Yeah, I mean, do you even just like ignore this rock in front of you and just you know <clears throat> try to go fast and, and catch Kylo somewhere? That's hard to say. Yeah, I don't even know what maneuvers he can do and avoid he ended that. Up getting stressed. Must have been a hard one to cut through those asteroids. Uh, that seems right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these these upsilons seem like 
like lumbering giants compared to the nimble Kylo. Yeah, I think with three of them, you have a lot more of a you know wider net. Uh, with two of them against this type of maneuverable ship in Kylo, uh, is tough. So yep. he, he does go over that asteroid, but uh, make sure it's to not to not stay on it. Uh, giving Kylo limited options here. He's either got to he's either got to cut in low and have this epsilon follow, or if he cuts in too high, he might actually eat both of them, that shot and this one. No, what did I do? No. Oh, we lost our we lost our pen. No, all my lines. Don't worry, I can fix it. No! Now it's really tiny for us. All right, well, we'll stop messing with that then. <laughs> we may have lost our ability to write for a little while. That's, that's okay. We, that's we will persevere. So Kylo uh, went fast and is out of danger once again. Fixed it. Yeah, he, Kylo wants nothing to do with this. Does, uh, I don't think has been shot at once. Nope, got shot uh, range three through a rock one time. Yep. Uh, so Kylo probably just stays kind of at the bottom of the board. Yeah, the only thing that <coughs> this, the only thing this Upsilon can do is hard to and look this direction. So that that would put his arc right here. So all Kylo's got to do is move forward to avoid that that lead up salon. And with kind of time ticking down here, I just did not expect that. Uh, I guess I don't understand Adam's strategy here. Uh, maybe try to be unpredictable since you know he Kylo is going to go in a position based on where he expects uh, these upslons to be and maybe maybe Adam is just trying to be tricky yeah, um, he's almost completely disengaging here so he's just hoping Kylo has some sort of fast get out of dodge maneuver on there uh, could Adam not be aware of the point I feel like that's unlikely no He's not, he, he has to know that one of his upslons is at half damage. So he did do a, the, the fast maneuver, but he's still behind those upslons, though. Yeah. <clears throat> so now he just stays in this corner, does donuts. I don't think he, yep. Just having fun, doing maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of maneuvers, that really reminds you of a uh, uh, member of Daniel. Can you fit that uh, Luke bear roll back? That was, that was so surprising. He said, he said that, uh, yeah, he put it, like, on the felt or on uh, on the fray right. of the map. <laughs> like as and, and just the slop in the maneuver no. couldn't fit. No, don't do that. Don't deploy. Don't don't even deploy like this. This is even – don't deploy like that because uh, you're just not leaving yourself enough room to uh, position. Well, getting a lot of rounds in, at least. That's true. But Adam's uh, struggling here to make a cohesive plan. I see, I mean, he definitely changed his plan uh, instead of just trying to follow Kylo. So he, sure. there must be something <laughs> brewing in his mind about how sure. he can uh, keep Kylo distracted. Well, I'm sure Adam has practiced with this list a lot in the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. And so he, he may have even seen this type of situation before. Um, at least be aware of what strategies don't work and perhaps what strategies uh, often do work. Yeah. The, uh, uh, Brett was a little hesitant to play on stream as well. Um, but it seems to be flying as Kylo masterfully. Yeah. Yes. Doesn't seem like there are any, any jitters at the moment. 
Uh, we do have standings as of the last round. Uh, so once again, this is a team event, so the number of victories your team has in a round count towards your score. Uh, if a match is decided by fewer than 24 points, it does not count as a victory. You carry that victory into the next round as a skin. So there were, I believe, eight, um, eight skins carried into this round, meaning that there were four matches decided by fewer than 24 points. But in terms of the standings, um, before starting this current round, before starting round two, we have St. Louis with five points, meaning they won, they outright won five of their six matchups. That's really good. That's solid. Uh, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, Louisville, and Chicago all tied with three points. Uh, Columbus and Cleveland with two points, and Detroit and Fort Wayne with one point. And so those are the standings at the moment. Uh, the t first tiebreaker is MOV. Mm -hmm. So uh, that does play into the standings. Uh, but we saw St. Louis come out to a, jump out to an early lead by winning five of their games. But as we were saying last round, skins can really make a difference because you carry a skin into the next round, meaning that that game is worth an additional victory. Oh, yeah. Uh, this was not a. This was not one of the skin games, um, which makes sense between these kind of lists. That it, it's either win or lose. Um, I did like the what Adam did here with uh, getting this. I really. He's got a nice, nice wide lane here. He's concerned about time, trying to move his ships as quickly as possible now. Um, so enough for one good shot. I've got distracted about who's who now. So this is this is the full health Tavison <coughs> up here in the corner. He's got 11. Yeah, we're doubling up yeah, on our pen now. We are doubling up. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what's going on. We'll get tech support after this round. Yeah. Dion, stop playing to time. Oh, we can actually we actually can see Dion's table from here. Um, hopefully he can't hear us, but uh, he's got. I he's see got. his Kylo still flying around yep. against an A wing and a T seventy X wing. No, that's. Uh... Oh, is there an A wing on the table? I... Oh, I barely saw it. They're tiny. They're <laughs> tiny models. Um, yeah, so it looks like Dion's Kylo against. Just got, just got hit hard by a Poe. Ooh. All right. Took some damage. Still on the board. That's good. So we'll see how that match shakes out. So, uh, Rhett's Kylo here. Cut back around. Did, saw this coming. Uh, this big old, big old beast coming in. So I was able to cut around. Down. He's probably just going to linger around the bottom of this board for a bit. Um, but Adam, Adam is finally getting, if I can get those lines off of there. Go away, lines. Uh, he's finally setting up these big arcs here. He's got the big ol' trying to get super wide, just cover as any, anywhere Kylo could possibly yeah. be. Yeah, so, so now this approach is sort of making, starting to come uh, make some more sense, mm -hmm. um, you know, why Adam set it up this way. Uh, maybe we might see some dice. What? We're going to roll dice for right <laughs> this round. All right. Oh, no, no, maybe not. Scratch. Kylo doesn't want to roll dice. dice. Kylo just... <laughs> uh, so I'm constantly surprised by how long range three is. That could still... Conceivably, Ooh, be range three. Ooh, sure is. Uh, they, uh, both of them have it locked. And what, did you just roll out? Three natties. Helps when you roll natural. Against um, an arrow no, eyeball. I would take that take that damage, no problem. And that is, because that was on Tamison, who's got the shields to do it, I believe. No? I saw it dealt here. Okay. 
Oh. That's, that'll put a damage through at least. All right. With some crits. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what this Kylo, what, what we that's exactly like what you shot. were talking about. One shot could put a, put a nasty crit through. Kylo did not want gotta, to see, see that. that. I got to see what that crit is. Oh, my goodness. Was that four blanks? Uh, he had one of eight in there, so he, he took three damage and took one crit. Now, because of the hull upgrade, though, oh. he still retains his points. Wow. Holy cow. Double stress. Do you see it? Oh. That's, that could be bad. Because he supernaturaled, moved, and then bear rolled backwards, and then got panicked pilot. Yep. Wow. Holy cow. So, prime thrusters, though. Prime Thruster still... Still allows him to advance sensors, uh, but he can't take a target lock or focus anymore, though. Oh, my though, goodness. Which means no, no torpedo. He's still got one sitting there, but he can't shoot it now. And he's got slightly limited maneuverability here. Yeah, I love that. Two stress, and he's slightly hindered. <laughs> yeah, he's <is> slightly hindered. <laughs> uh, can't go crazy. Oh, my goodness, though. Did you see that roll? No blanks. That's all he needed. Well, he had target lock focus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but that, uh, if that's pilot skill two dormants out there with the wide wings, he's down to just three hull, which means one more Kylo could take him sure. off the board. Sure, sure. So this match has got more interesting. There you go. I'm trying to just move this to see that our points are correct. Uh, actually, I think I did find a mistake. I think uh, it should be 101 to 67. Okay. I believe one of one of Adam's uh, ships, I believe Tamminson, or excuse me, that Star Cooler base was actually worth 66. Okay. So, so slight changes there. Uh, uh, yeah, just two points, though. And... I'll see if they can capitalize on it. One more shot like that. Uh, and uh, Adam can keep his points. Yeah, so Adam uh, definitely so, going to have to try to capitalize on that injured. Ooh, takes a takes crit. A crit. Just, just one shield. No big deal. So he's got, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five over there? Okay. So I must have him switched. So maybe that... One, two, three, four. So I must I must have switched them out at some point. Dormance does only have two hull left. That Kylo's getting out of there. All right, might be safe this round, but golly, you never know after or, uh, what happened the last round. Yeah, this has actually turned around in the last couple minutes for Adam here because he can retain... This Upsilon's points by dipping, just going to the corner here, right? Uh, we saw that in the last round with the U-Wing, just go hide in the corner. Sure. Uh, and then he actually can just two bank right here uh, with his other one and be able to possibly get <sighs> what? Uh, Adam's got limited time. Needs one more shot on that. Yeah, Kylo. you see Adam uh, playing a, a, bit, a bit faster now. Oh, yeah, he's... He, he got a little taste of blood in his mouth then from that Kylo. And, I don't uh, think Kylo showed him the dark side, though. I don't think that came into play. I think just to retain force points uh, Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. We see the two bank, like you said. Uh, this looks like it'll be a boost from Kylo. Uh, boost, hard turn, barrel roll. Might actually get him out of that arc of that shuttle. Or he might just leave. Which isn't a bad idea Looks either. Looks like he's opting to leave, and then he still has the barrel roll, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam. Time. Uh, 434, so. Adam here. Already getting dial set. He's trying to <laughs> He's trying to get these maneuvers down. I do not blame him. Uh, yeah, he's... Now, now I think you're starting to see how the cycle works of like one's going, runs rotating clockwise and one's rotating counterclockwise. That's right. Uh, so we do see uh, dice rolled here. Uh, not 
Uh, three three hits. That could be significant. Kylo does have a focus out there. And yep, uses I see it the to get evades. Three. Yeah. <clears throat> Oof. So uh, one damage there. Yeah. One damage. Kylo was in game. dangerous position here, but now we see, you know, these silencers are able to dodge damage pretty well. One one blank on that defense dice. Yeah. And Adam everything. might actually change, uh, take the lead here and force Kylo to re-engage. That's right. <clears throat> but didn't happen, unfortunately. But I think he's still in good position. That Tamasin could probably hard one or hard two, depending on the situation. And uh, Tamasin in the bottom of the screen here. Mm. Should be able to cut back in. Yeah. We got about two rounds. I think that they're both playing at a fast pace, and, you know, good, good on Rhett for um, playing at Adam's pace. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, you don't have to play fast or slow, just the agreed upon pace with your opponent. Because we've all we've all had that that everybody just engaged in combat and then it's like a good five minute to look at your dials. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And some people are naturally slower paced and that's okay. Um, but when a game is on the line like this, you wanna make sure everything's done fairly. So we're going to see just a five forward from Kylo here. Um, unless he dialed in like a turn to try to to get uh, get away, like a turn left. Oh, we see the boost forward, so probably just going fast. All right, we'll see if these upsilons. Uh, Ooh, a little bit of a bump there. That could be that could mean something because of the rock there, and then. Uh, All right, those uh, these upsilons got. One round, maybe two rounds to find Kylo in the corner there. That's right. Yeah, they're both sort of in position. It's coming down. Adam knows exactly <laughs> how fast these upslons can go because he's oh, yeah. practiced it so much in the opening engagement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they can cross the board real quick. Yep, he's already got dials down. No shot there. Just out. Yeah, des desperate for just a shot again. <laughs> One more shot. Um, but stay tuned here. Uh, once again, we're giving away. We got uh, four cards to give away. Uh, if you're a Twitch Prime subscriber, I think we keep saying Twitch Prime. Is it Twitch Prime? I think we the giveaway is for. It's for everybody watching. Everyone watching. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you don't have to subscribe. We can still give it to you if you're just watching. Um, but your chances <coughs> significantly increase if you are a subscriber, though. Thanks again. Uh, Mr. Redfoot just subscribed. He wants in on those cards. Thank you for the sub. Really helps us out. All right. Time is tick tocking. If there's no combat and Kylo can move in 30 seconds or so, uh, we might have. We should. Well, we'll find out if the if our timer oh, sure. lines up with their game well, timer. To be fair, Adam is the timekeeper in this round. Yeah. So if anybody <laughs> knows how much time is <laughs> left, uh, it is him. I don't know about you, but the stopwatch on my phone has a uh, add one minute feature. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kylo, Kylo does not like this, and I think he can get out. I, don't, I would say range three from here. Say one and a half to the rock, and then that rock is maybe three. So. Ooh. It's going to be real this is close. close. It's range. Oh, I did that again. Looks like range three obstructed if it is in range. So it might be okay anyway. I get rid of that line. There it is. No. All right, there was time. We are having uh, our own personal technical difficulties. You guys are fine, but we shrunk our screen. There we go. <laughs> uh, looks like they got, uh, they called no combat right before time in the round. So he's got, I almost got one last prayer here. Yeah, Kylo's not in a great spot. Um, he could definitely get caught by maybe both of those shuttles, depending. Yeah, the, uh, this should be, should be Tavinson out on the left there. 
basically forced to hard two or uh, three bank. Has no real other options. Turning away. Yeah, what is that? Oh, because that is uh, Dormitz, who is hurt. Oh, so he does. He doesn't want Dormitz to go down. He's he's relying on yep. Tavson to, to do this last damage. He's going to coordinate him a focus. Wow. This is some deep level play actually here. At, yep. To to the wire. Oh yeah, look at that arc. It's going to catch everything. <laughs> uh, does it go over? What is that? Uh, it's a debris. It's debris. debris. Which is why he got coordinated. Sure. The focus first. Still has focus target lock onto Kylo then, and Kylo needs to get out of there. Uh, boost five forward might be able to do it. We'll see. I this don't is know. Tense. There's a little lull there for <laughs> the middle of the game, but yeah. it's gotten okay, pretty so intense. We, we see that boost. Oof, yeah, I think five forward might might clear out. Oh, he's going boost. with the uh, auto thrusters barrel roll here. And five forward. Which will at least put him at range three. Looks oh. like it's still a shot, though. <sighs> so Ooh. hard to tell. We're going to measure. I think oh. it catches him. Oh. So. so we got four on four here. Uh, Reroll with uh, Adam's attack dice. But just to focus for Here's him. the roll. Oh. And that uh. coordinated focus, right? Yeah, I think that does it. Um, he's going to need to get all four here. And I. One blank. There it is. Wow. So Kylo takes one. Kylo takes one. And uh, that takes away his hull upgrade. And Adam takes 126 points. But this is 126 oh, to 101. Right. Our, our counting might. But that's still. That's 25 points. 25. Though. Holy cow, came down to the really? last die. I guess, should we run over there and uh, confirm that, that we got all the damage right? This seems so close to even yeah. call right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at this piece of paper, and then uh, we'll, give away, we'll give away these cards, so stay tuned. All right, stand by. We're going to get the official word. If it, in fact, went down to that very last attack roll, uh, we're going to find out just to make sure our accounting is correct. Uh, stand by for a couple of minutes. We're going to do our second giveaway of the day, giving away alt art, uh, alt art cards. We have a red line, a Nora Wexley, a Cassian and Duchess combo, and a Trandoshan slaver. Alt art to give away. Will's over there talking. I see a lot of animated pointing. <coughs> That was Will reaching across the table for a handshake. <clears throat> Hi, buddy. How's it going, everybody? Are they being nice to you, the, the viewers? Ch chat's being very nice and very helpful, spotting our, uh, our legitimate mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, giving us some oh, rules, yeah. rules advice. Yeah, that was a 25-point victory there. 25 points. Okay. So I'll just recap for Dio, and which we'll also recap for the audience. Um, Kylo was running away for the last, like, seven or eight rounds. Okay. And in literally the last round of fire, after time was called, uh, the opposing Upsilon rolled four dice against Kylo and did one additional damage, which got Kylo below uh, half oh. health and uh, caused... Adam to take the 25 point lead. Oh, and that's and that's a full win in yeah. Outrider. That's a full win. It came down to the last round. Kylo was running away, circling around the edge of the board, arc dodging. Um, it came down to one brutal four dice attack earlier on, and then mm -hmm. that last round of fire to get Kylo to half points. Yep. So there's a couple people here asking in the chat, uh, can you explain the tournament format? So this is it's a nine-team event. Each team has six players, and uh, basically there is a pairing process uh, that's determined on your current standings and or bid. 
and uh, we shake it up and see who wins all at the end. Super fun. There's uh, the, the basic premise for the pairings are you have six lists. Three of them stay on the table. And three of them you pool. And then when you're doing the pairings, you choose your matchups from the three that are on the table for each, uh, each of the uh, remaining. So, yeah, super excited. I'm glad you guys are with us. And uh, William's going to go take a little break. Uh, yeah, so we we couldn't get the Upsilon, so we just made up some ships, and it seemed to work. Yeah. Uh, do you want to help us with giveaways? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Imaginary ships. It, wor it worked out, though, right? We figured it out. All right, cool. <laughs> the points might not be. Are the points right? Yep. Uh, they're off. They're a couple points couple, off, couple, but uh, all right. close enough. Not bad, not bad. All righty. Let's go ahead and let's do some giveaways. Hey, there's Johnny. Hello. Try not to move too much stuff here. Check, check, check. Uh, all right, there we go. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Activate yourself in the chat. This is what we're giving away. We're giving away. We're going to do a total of four giveaways. We have the secret red line. Ooh. Nora Wexley. The Trandoshan Slaver. And the pair here, the Duchess and Cassian Alt Arts. How do you get your hands on these? Uh, all you have to do is be in the chat right now, typing away, and uh, we're going to pick a name. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, if William, I think William and, uh, and Johnny have probably been talking it up, but in round three, after round three, we're going to give away the, uh, the Twitch giveaway templates. And in round four, we'll do the Patreon ones. Sounds good. All righty. Twitch, Patreon. They're not peeled or anything like that, so you have to peel of them. Uh, we'll do that when we actually give them away, give you a little preview of what they look like. Um, super excited. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's do this. Mm, here we go. Give you guys a couple of seconds. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Uh, really appreciate everybody who's watching. I know it's a little bit of a different event. Uh, again, we only have a total of four rounds today. We've got two more, and we're going to keep you updated on the standings. Once we have uh, the, the whiteboard filled out, we'll put it on the table, and uh, we'll get it and out And our there. next two rounds are the extended format. Yes. So we'll see different lists. Yeah, different lists. Everybody's changing up. Unless if I don't – there was only a couple teams that kept the same list sure. into, into extended because you can. Sure. Um, but most teams swapped it out. All right, here we go. First winner. Uh, Johnny, which one are we going to give away first? Uh, I think let's give away that uh, Duchess and Cassian combo. Boom. Duchess-Cassian combo. Here we go. Three, two, one. Epionic. Congratulations for your win. How do you claim your prizes? Send me an email to goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com. Um, to anybody who won in the past, I forgot to tell you guys this, the Twitch Whisper system lost some messages for me. I'll just put it that way. There's there's a couple people who said they sent me messages on Twitch that I just like never got, and I don't know if it's because I had like too many incoming messages sure. or something. So we're gonna go ahead do it email. Make sure you mention uh, you know your your username and stuff like that. It's gonna be the best way. Uh, so go ahead shoot me that email. Uh, takes about two to three weeks for me to get through everything uh, with all the other responsibilities of the podcast, but should be getting those out here uh, ASAP. Maybe this Thursday. I like to ship things on Thursdays, like the one day I don't Looks have like things to do. Yeah. What's next? All righty. Next one. Let's go uh, with my wife's favorite card. Boom. Whoop, whoop. Nora Wexley. Here we go. Three, two, one. Na, 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 na. Scruffy Rogue 71. Scruffy Rogue wins Nora Wexley. Congratulations. Yep. Congrats. I saw somebody said the free day. It's really the free day because I'm supposed right. to record quick tips on Thursdays and have Friday and Saturday to edit them. Though this Thursday, I didn't have the time to do that. So we have to record quick tips at some point today or tomorrow. I'll probably be up to like 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It's going to be great. Hey. It's for the people. It's okay. <laughs> for the beloved fans. That's right. That's right. Uh, then we'll do... We'll do red line. Red line. Red line. 
Ah. Good until his points get. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I think they're going to keep him close. They're just not as good. good. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the sub there. All right. Here is red line. Three, two, one. Bam. Lord Raven. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Bless you, Johnny. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, and last but not least is the Trans Ocean Slaver. Little fun fact about this art, Johnny. This is actually our first ever commissioned piece of art. I remember. As Gold Squadron. I remember because that was the uh, Gold Squadron classic list for a long time. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the first piece of art we ever commissioned from an artist. It's a cool piece of art. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Here we go. Last one for this round. Three, two, one. The winner is to Tarhoran. Tarhoran, congratulations. You get some alt art Trandoshan slaver. There you go. So we're gonna we have another set of those to give away in the third round and the fourth round, along with the templates. You know what, Johnny? I think we're gonna give away a t-shirt too. Oh, I think really? So. I think so. How we've been doing? I think it depends on how we've been doing on like subs and things like that. All uh, right. Darcy. Darwin. It's probably Darwin. Well, who do he play? Who did he play against? Yeah, it's it's Darwin. It's, it's Darcy now. But yeah. <laughs> Some uh, figuring out yeah. players. So I'm, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a peek here in the break and see how we've been doing on subs to determine if we can do the T-shirt. You know what? Honestly, we had a lot in the first round. The yeah. second round, eh. uh, Then it's slacking a little bit. Yeah, so uh, let's pick up the sub rate and get some more giveaways. Yeah. Don't, don't, uh, don't forget to hit that button every 30 days, guys. If you have Twitch Prime, super easy to do. Uh, you go to Amazon, connect your Amazon to Twitch. It's literally free money. Now they have it labeled as like Twitch for teens. That's just marketing. Like it doesn't, they don't, they don't check your age. There's no age verification. It's just like, yes, grown men and women can sign up for Twitch Prime. Yeah. You're fine. All righty. Um, I see some people saying they have the hoodie. And yeah, this is the shirt right here. Super sweet. Both got them. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And uh, I think we'll, we'll be back in... Uh, Probably sure. I mean, we got to do we got to do pairings, and everyone's got to put their list together, right? Yeah, because it's a new list. Yeah, so maybe maybe right. twenty minutes, maybe twenty five. Yep. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. Well, I want to thank you guys very much, and we'll be back. 